<laughs> it is 405, uh, call to order the Metro uh, St. Cloud Metropolitan Transit Commission Board. Uh, let the uh, record reflect that all are present except for Sartell. And it, um, additions and changes to the agenda, anything? Yes, number 12 will be given by Steve Williams, and number 15 will be in addition to number 12. Number 15 will be in addition yeah. to number 12? At the same time. At the same, time. At the same time. Yeah. Oh. So number 15 and 12 will be given by oh, Steve Williams. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other additions or changes? There is there a motion to approve? Mm -hmm. Motion to approve. Second. 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 Uh, all of the discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Carries. Consent agenda. Items 5 through 8. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Open forum. Anyone here to? All right. Seeing none. On a general business, item number nine, consideration of the 2017 proposed program of projects. Good afternoon, commissioners. Uh, a new spot. A new spot, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the table. Everyone can listen now. <laughs> I can hear you now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, the program of pro projects for 2017 <clears throat> is just our standard um, kind of uh, uh, dot our I's and cross our T's uh, to get our federal funding for 5307. Um, so w with your approval, we'll, move, we'll go ahead and advertise the program of projects. We leave that out there for 30 days, and if we don't hear anything by April 30th, then we'll bring that back at the May meeting for your formal approval um, to do our our grant application for 5307 funds. All right. Motion approved. Second. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in, fa in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Uh, resol or item number 10, resolution 2017-02. Uh, commissioners, this is again uh, 5307, kind of the starting of our uh, grant process, grant application process for 5307 funds from the FTA. So this is just a, uh, giving us the authorization, authorizing resolution to operate under 5307. Motion. So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion. Seeing that, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Hi. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, resolution is adopted with item number 11. Hi. Uh, this resolution is uh, looking for your approval to approve the 2017 Commuter Challenge Grant. Uh, we requested from MnDOT the full amount that they had available to transit systems to request. And this is one where it doesn't cost Metrobus anything. They would pay 100% on the commuter challenge several years. So helps us promote transit as a alternative way to get around. What's the challenge part of it? Um, in challenging people to try alternative forms of transportation. Okay, so mm -hmm. okay. In the past, it's been a, a sign up kind of thing, and we don't, this year, we're not going to do a sign up. It's just promoting and getting the word out, raising awareness. So they don't win a new bus or anything like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so approved. Is there a second? Second. Discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, carries resolution adopted. Item number 12. Chairman, commissioners, before you have a resolution, we're seeking for approval to purchase some scheduling and timekeeping software. Um, we actually uh, put out an RFP, as you see in the resolution, put the RFP out last December, and we received three um, responses to the RFP. We actually had a broad request of what we were looking for, and um, we did get three responses, but not any one of the responses covered 100% of everything. So what we decided is we would split it into two phases. So we're looking at the phase one award here, and then for the phase two award, we actually s just submitted another grant request from MnDOT. And I'm assuming we get 
the money that we requested for that, we would do that as a separate phase to cover the other parts of the software that wasn't covered in the original RFP. All right. What was the total? What was the total estimated cost of both? If, we, if somebody would have bid them all, do you have any idea? Um, depending upon what you you came in at. About three point four. Yeah. Three point four million to do it. So all. the next phase is bigger than this phase. Yeah. Way bigger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Chair, I had a question. Yeah. Um, was it the full amount budgeted for? Are we okay within the budget so far? That's why we're doing this piece. We broke it up in sections. Okay. So we have 700,000, 720,000 set aside in federal uh, 5307 funds. Okay. That's the 80 20 split. So this one came in at about 600,000. Okay. So we have plenty of money in there plus a little bit extra. The second phase is the big chunk of change, it's about 2.7 million. And that one is the, the funding that we're requesting. We should hear sometime soon. Uh, MnDOT has proposed a possible 100% funding on some projects. And so we're, we've stuck that in there and our, our fingers are crossed and we're in the process of begging and pleading. I, I've spent my day doing that. <laughs> okay. well, that's, that's we, we remember the promise we had and we're never gonna raise the levy again. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Something like that? <laughs> it, it was either that or raise the levy to raise our salary. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there a scene for a motion? So uh, move. Move. Second? Second. Any discussion? Further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. You want to? Update anymore? Yeah, I'll do the update. Um, as Paula oh, mentioned, um, we have submitted several grants to MnDOT. And we hope to hear soon. Um, would actually be 100% funding by MnDOT. Um, the phase two of the software project is one of them, as Paula mentioned. And a couple of other projects we have going on is a, a Fairbox um, update program where we would look at replacing all the hardware in our in our buses and possibly go to smart card technology. Um, that's one of the things that we've submitted for. And then the other one would be all replacing all of our mobile data terminals and our vehicles. Um, some of that equipment is probably 15, 20 years old. Um, definitely need a, a replacement. Um, so that's the other big project that we got going on that we're waiting for MnDOT's approval. And assuming they, they approve these requests, they would be at 100% MnDOT funding. So that's what we're at on those projects. But would you know on, on the <sighs> You know, hopefully soon. <laughs> It, we've been promised a few different dates, and so yeah. it, we should know within the next month, I would say. Uh, Good April, possibility. April 15th was like kind of the date that they've been going around, tax day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then they should be able to afford it. I paid it yeah. 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 The concept between the MnDOT is that they, um, their number one goal is to see uh, um, expanded service, right? So that, that's the way they're focusing, how they're approving the requests. Um, but our argument to them was to say basically that we can't expand service until we have these technology upgrades. We can't, we also requested some buses and some other things just to say that we can't expand service anymore. We're, we're maxed out unless we can do these, these upgrades. And so kind of it's Peter to Paul, right? I mean, kind of toss it up and you, it's a catch-22. So that was our, our request kind of platform is what we're looking for. All right. Anything else? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. So item number 13, um, resolution 2017-05, uh, authorization for purchase of six class 400 CNG. Low floor paratransit vehicles. Commissioners, this is a resolution that we had requested. It's in the CIP to, to purchase these buses. It's uh, six replacement buses for our paratransit fleet. We'd replace those with the CNG buses. And again, that was approved in the CIP that came through, so the funding is there. So this is an 80-20 uh, funding request. MnDOT would pay for 80% and we would pay for 20. Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Move the second and any further discussion? Mr. Chair, yep. I have a quick question. Oh, yeah. Ed, I have a question. Are all, <laughs> are all of them on the all the ones on the road now that we ordered? Yes. They're all out there now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. <coughs> Good. 
for the discussion. Seeing that, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion uh, prevails. Resolution is adopted. Uh, item number 14, 27-06. Authorization of purchase of three MCI diesel commuter buses. Again, these are the three that we had spoken about previously for the North Star Link. We would purchase three this year and two uh, MCIs next year um, for a, a total of five new buses. The first three, MnDOT would again fund the 80%, and then the 20% we would fund up front, and then we're going to be reimbursed by that from Stearns County. Uh, the Stearns County Rail Authority will pay for the 20% local share on these buses, and then Sherburne County will pay for the two buses next year. What does uh, Amtrak coming to St. Cloud do to this? Any of this? We're just talking about that. That will probably have an effect on. It would certainly have an effect on one of the service. One of the during that short period of time as a demonstration. It's not a long demonstration project, but six months, three months? I think six, six months. months. Six, six months. months. Yeah. Um, so it, well, I would assume uh, it would have an effect on... That one trip, probably, we won't run that one trip. Well, hopefully it would have a tremendous effect, because if they're not going to ride the <laughs> bus, the train, then there's no need to have it extend the same bump. Um, so there's going to have to be some. But yeah, based on the schedule, just have to see what time this train, because I believe it's one train going down in the morning, the one train coming up in the afternoon. So just based on that time frame, if our bus service coincides with that train, then we won't maybe send that bus to Big Lake because the train leaves St. Cloud, and then vice versa on the way back. If the train is going to come from Minneapolis straight to St. Cloud, then we won't have to send a bus to Big Lake on the return to St. Cloud. So this all depends on the timing issue of when the train actually goes and comes. And then basically, on, based on that schedule, we just pull the bus in both directions for that one trip. And, and again, it still has to happen. And it's a, like, oh, it's yeah. a good possibility. Yeah. yeah. I think they'll think it's and, and there's an opportunity there, just thinking about that. There's an opportunity because if that passes, uh, a lot of the money is not only designed for the, for the service, but to market the service. So maybe there's a way to cross market both the link and that service. Saying here's the train, and then if you can't make these times, here's the you know the bus schedule. It's it's pretty large dollar amount for you know because there's uh, Amtrak's covering. I mean, there's a significant, I should say, dollar amount for the marketing. From what I've been told, and that's the big thing is to really market it, see how you know because they want to have you know, ridership. This will determine whether or not it's feasible. It's that's feasible. part of this part of the study. Mm -hmm. Any other questions on the resolution on the MCI pieces? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. I need a motion. Move to approve. Oh, do we have a motion yet? No, I did it oh. before the discussion. <laughs> 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 all right, there's a move to approve and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, motion carries. Resolution is adopted. <coughs> Um, executive directors, department updates. No, we did not already. We, I, everybody, is there any, any more that you have? No. Executive director? That is time. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else? Wow, that's really good. All right, well then, uh, motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. Moved and seconded. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned. At